The accident was actually um, a car door slammed shut on her finger, on her thumb, and there's no evidence of any fractures, but she's got this very dramatic hematoma underneath the nail that we're gonna drain. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a uh, tumescent block, actually a, a, a double uh, tumescent block on both ventral and dorsal surfaces up to numb her thumb up. While you're in there, just give a little bit more because we're gonna then put maybe another two or three on the ventral surface. The ventral has a little bit more subcutaneous tissue. Okay, that's probably good. And again, we're doing a tumescent block on the volar surface and the panies. You squirt it until it gets a little frosty and I think we're about ready to go. And then once we feel like we've got it tumescent enough, what we'll do is we'll then massage that a little bit too. All right, so just Thick. massage that a little bit. There you go. Okay. Uh, you're okay. Don't, don't jump. Don't, don't jump because yeah, I'll, yeah. So you're doing exactly right. Just short little short little touches. Okay, what you might do now is get your 18 gauge, since you kind of broke through, mm -hmm. and and then spin it, and that, that just opens your hole a little bit. Because the important thing is for this to continue draining. You just kind of spin it. There you go, see the blood coming out of there? And the goal here is, is just to make your hole a little bit bigger. Obviously, you don't want to be going into the nail bed, but, so you're getting a good, good blood flow now. And so, go ahead and squeeze that. There you go. Now you're starting to get some blood. Mom and, and daughter, if this doesn't continue draining, take like an alcohol pad or something, mm -hmm. and just wipe it to make sure it starts bleeding again. Because mm -hmm. draining is what's going to keep the pain down. Because if we didn't do this, this would just be throbbing. Um, uh, in the middle of the night, she'd become like, Mom, this hurts. That's how she was last night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she said that last night. Okay. Yeah, just, just a single. And that's going to drain on its own then. Okay. Okay, so uh, you can actually see the, you can actually start to see nail color a little bit more. It still, it still looks bruised. All right, so what I would do then is I would put some antibiotic ointment on that and then just do a, a loose dressing on that and then go home. The important thing is for that to be able to continue to train.